Hi, it's Alan here. Going to have a quick look at the create model function on Leica's MC1 software. The first thing to note is, is I have no active model selected on the panel. Um, I need to really start utilizing my machine today and get to work. So there's a couple of nice function I can use to, to do so. When we click on create model, the first one we're faced with is flat model, which is a really powerful tool inside MC1. When we hit the continue button, the first thing we're faced with is tool point height. So depending where your bucket or your blade is sitting, you, you'll have a height in here. Um, and then we can make that work with our, our surface height. So let's say you had a new compound that you needed to level off um, for accommodation, storage, whatever it may be. You can set your bucket or blade anywhere on site that you know is a good level and then press this equals button and when you do that your surface height will become the same as your tool point height so the same height is where your bucket's sitting and then it will create an infinity surface at that height so if we just hit continue there's our flat model press the finish button you can see now wherever we set our bucket when our cut fill hits zero, that's us at the same level as where we started. So if we drive about and get over here, we know when we when we continue to um, excavate, when we get the zeros, that's us at, at our starting benchmark point. Um, really simple to use. Uh, definitely don't want to overcomplicate it. You basically, wherever you set your bucket, press the equals button, that's then going to be your, your level benchmark. Alternatively, what you can do when you go into flat model, you can put your bucket anywhere on site, whether that was on a peg, a manhole, just a bit of ground, and then say, okay, press the equals button, so that's where my bucket is, then click on there and say, well, I want to go minus one meter from where my bucket is, then hit the continue button, now your flat model it flashed up for a second there, the, the minus one your, um, your model is basically going to tell you to, to cut a meter and then as you, when you get down to your, your zero that's you one meter below where your bucket was originally sitting um, so a really nice, nice tool to use and that, that will just continue on that plane um, for as far as I can see. Your other option is to do one with a slope. Now with the slope it won't interpret where the, the height should be. It needs manual input for a slope very similar to how a grade or dual grade um, laser would work, you know like a, a rotating laser. So if we continue slope model, two options. If we look at measure two points first, it's, it's quite a common way to use it. It's going to ask for a start point and an end point. So if you knew where your, your drainage run or whatever it was you were doing started and ended, whether it was maybe a ramp of some sort, you would track to your starting point, put your bucket on the ground, press measure point one. You would then track to your end point, press measure point two, hit continue, and then it asks for an X and a Y slope. So your X slope would be facing north, so whatever, um, starting at the, the start of your slope, facing north towards it, um, and your Y slope is your left to right, your right to left, that, that cut cross, your, your left to right slope, if there was um, maybe a cross fall on a car park or wh whatever it, it would be. You'll notice here I've got degrees, it's not really going to work for me in the, in the UK, I'm, I'm very much used to working with um, percentages. So what I'd probably do first, if you're faced with that, go into your settings page. Um, page 2 in here and you'll see my slope unit you might work on a like a, a 1 to 10 1 to 5 basis um, if I choose percentage say ok 
go back into my create model, I want to create a slope. Measure two points. Go to the, the start of where my ramp is going to be. Bucket on the ground. Press measure point one. Track to the, the finishing point, whatever that may be. Measure point two. Hit continue. It's now asking for what what's my fall, my slope. So if I knew there was a um, 100 mil fall over 100 meters, I would divide my 100 mil into my 100 meters, so it would give me one millimeter per meter. To calculate a percentage, I would just multiply that by 100, so I would have 0 0.001 times 100. So then my percent would become 0 0.1 And then that's that's my x slope. So whatever the the fallen height, so the difference in height from point A to point B, divide that by the distance that you're going, then multiply that answer by a hundred, and I have my percentage to go. Um, on this occasion, I don't have any y slope, so I'll just hit continue. So from here, th there's a few options. It's asking what is the actual surface height that you want to work with. So potentially you already have a starting point, so you, you, you can dig down to that initial starting point. You maybe have an invert level or um, an engineer is giving you a start point. You would put your bucket on the ground there and hit equals. And then that's you got your start point for your, your surface. Generally you want that point A and then that positive slope will work up the way um, to your, your finish point. Um, it really just depends on the job that you're doing, what you, what height you actually want your surface to. Maybe you know it has to be um, the finished level is 1.3 meters below where your bucket is. So in that case, you would hit the equal sign to get your bucket height in first. Then you'd go in here and you would add 1.3 to that. So we're at negative one just now. We would add one meter on, which would bring us to zero, and then we would end up at 0.3 in that random occasion that I brought. Um, and then you just continue as normal. And then you just follow your cut fill. As you as you track forward, it's going to give you your 1% your that you can see here and here, um, which is your one millimeter per meter. It may be that you want to go into settings and change your height indicators to have um, your slope, um, if you were doing a cross slope, 